You're with Gary Gates uh, just before the home opener, but you've already got the season uh, rolling with the two big wins down in Florida. Uh, what you learn about your team just seeing them get out in the field and get loose there in the first couple of games? You know, I'm excited about the depth that we have and uh, the, the number of players that mm -hmm. have the potential to contribute this year. And, uh, you know, couple uh, warm-up games to, to get us going, not quite the competition we're about to see as we move forward here, but, uh, you know, uh, certainly a good test, and, and, you know, I'm excited to see the, what we can do this year, and the offense, uh, I think, looks very strong. Defense, um, continue to work on our concepts and improving and being more dynamic on the defensive end of the field, and uh, we're excited. You've never shied away from playing a tough schedule, trying to prepare for it, but you've got the whole top five showing up in the Dome this year. How exciting is that to, to see all these teams coming to Syracuse? Well, it's, it's exciting. You know, we play uh, seven of the nine remaining in the top ten, and we play, uh, the you know, the top six in the Dome, and it's just an incredible schedule. And, you know, it's fun to talk about now. Let's hope we're having fun with it at the end of the year. But... Uh, you know, great competitions can prepare these ladies to, uh, you know, really compete and know what it's like uh, at the top level. We've had a taste over the last couple of years, and we got to find a way to get over the hump. And I think playing these uh, these uh, top level teams is really going to, you know, help uh, playoff time. Yeah, there's only really one more step for you guys to bake now, and you've been so close the last few years. What, what do you think the key is for knocking it over and pulling off those final four and title game type wins? <laughs> I think anything, you know, continue to build on the experience that the players have. Mm -hmm. So when they get in that playoff uh, situation, they're confident uh, and they're ready to play and deliver under pressure. So, you know, we're, we're doing that with our schedule. and. and you know, hopefully we'll uh, get over that hump this year. And uh, lastly, what kind of season on offense can a uh, Kayla Trainer and uh, Alyssa Murray have together now that Kayla's into his sophomore year and we saw what kind of crazy numbers they both put up last season? Oh, they were unbelievable. And uh, it's going to be an incredible year. I think uh, Kayla Trainer's going to uh, improve this year. And I think as a freshman, she, uh, she, you know, she really came on at the end. But we should see, you know, the way she finished last year is a starting point this year and have her really uh, you know be just become an incredible player she's got a a lot of talent and a bright future and uh, yeah, along with uh, Alyssa Murray who's got a killer instinct and uh, always uh, looking to get things done on the offensive end of the field I think we're in we're in great shape there um, we got a great supporting cast uh, you know all the players that are back on the offensive end you know, have uh, playoff experience, and uh, you know we're, we're deep. We got multiple subs and players, so we can put a lot of pressure on teams and and uh, stay fresh throughout the entire uh, 60 minutes of a game.